Real Lift Land Drivers, how's everybody doing today? Hey, today's video is going to be about the airport. That's right, all you drivers who hang out at the airport and cancel rides. What the hell is wrong with you people? Last week I had a couple of passengers that I picked up at the airport that told me that they got their luggage, did everything they're supposed to do, paid for a car, and then the driver called them and asked them where they were going. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Who the hell is doing this? You guys are a bunch of freaking idiots. Yeah, I'm pissed off about it because it makes everybody look bad. But I got those rides. One was a $50 ride. Another one was a $25 ride. You called them up, asked them where they were going, said you'd be right there. Then you called them back and you actually had the balls to tell them you had a flat tire. And then one of you idiots, and I don't know which one because she didn't write down the name. She pinged again, got the same guy. That's balls. She got the same guy. Why would you be on there if you had a flat tire? And then you had the nerve to tell her you had a flat tire twice. You're at Dallas Airport, and I hope I run into you one day. You will have flat tires. That's not a threat, it's a promise. Yeah, use this video if you want to. I just can't believe drivers do that. Why are you sitting at the airport? You don't need to know where they're going. You signed up to drive them. If you take them across the street, you get to come right back in the queue. It's set up that way. Read your emails when you get them. They tell you if you have a short ride, you can get right back in the queue at the airport. But at the same time, I want to thank you guys for doing that and cancel those rides because... I was uh, outside of the airport and I got pinged twice to go to the airport to pick people up. I don't know what y'all are doing out there or why you're sitting out there. And you know who you are. And I hope you're watching this. I hope you're one of my subscribers. You know what I look like. So you see me out there, yeah, you come over here and give me a better excuse than a flat tire. Just quit. Do something else. Go drive a cab. Go sell hamburgers. There's lots of jobs out there. She chose to drive for Uber and Lyft. Yeah, I'm pissed off. I'm sorry. All my other followers. It just, it just makes no sense to me. And then you sit there and tell them you don't want to go that far. <laughs> I don't get it. What the hell? <coughs> See, you got me all choked up. Uh, anyhow, come on, people. Let's get our act together. You're gonna drive to the airport, you take every freaking ride that comes in. You never know what the next ride might be. Maybe it's coming back to the airport, then you get another ride back from the airport. You can't make money sitting here at the airport for one or two hours hoping you're gonna get a good ride. Passengers are starting to smarten up, and I'm training every one that I pick up. I, I tell them, I said, look, if a, if a driver calls you up and asks you where you're going, you just cancel that ride and for another driver. I'm not on the I'm not on the driver's side in cases like this. We're all out here trying to make some money. Uh, the other thing I told them to do also now, take a screenshot of their name and their license plate and write it into Uber. And I hope your ass gets deactivated for this. Alright, I think I'm done then. I gotta get ready for my Vegas trip. You guys have a nice day. Sorry to get a little out of line. <laughs> Alright, maybe I'm no, I am. I'm not. I am. I don't. Yeah. You know, Uber on, everybody. Lift on, everybody. Be safe. Stay hydrated. Give your passengers a good ride. I'm out of here. Good night.